Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing my custom Fisher-Price Ghostbusters Firehouse and my G.I. Joe Sigma-6 Duke. And yes... I finally got me my first ever G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figure, and I was so stoked to find this at Rossi's Flea Market, and I only paid five bucks for him, and he was awesome. So I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing him today, and it'll be an awesome figure to put in my G.I. Joe collection. But yeah, but yeah, the custom firehouse, I could not get the original real Ghostbusters firehouse because it was overpriced. And I finally got this one because I needed one in my collection for a very long time. But now that it's been a minute, let's get on to the review. First, we're gonna do Duke from G.I. Joe Sigma-6, and he's a good looking action figure. Show you what he looks like up close. Here's a close shot of his epic glory. He's got the, still got the Sigma-6 Logo, if I can close in on that. Come on. Come on, come on. Focus, camera, focus. Tricky trying to get the focus on that insignia. It's really hard to focus on camera. Come on. Let's see if I can increase the light and see if it helps. There we go. Come on. And, and yeah, yeah, that's the symbol for G.I. Joe Sigma 6. And it still looks great to this day and glory. Articulation on this figure is really good. Got some hinges here. His hinges here are real tight and I'm afraid of breaking them so he doesn't have, his hinges don't work as well. He's got hinges here, which is cool. No hinged hands. Head can move on a ball joint. Love that for an old school figure. Bend at the knee, nice. No ankle tilt, well some, but it's very tight and I don't wanna break it. Second verse, just like the first. I don't have any of his original weapons to go with this figure, but I do have a comparison for this figure, and I got this from another flea market. This was a church flea market. Here's my G.I. Joe Series 2 Storm Shadow, and the Sigma 6 line is less bigger than this 12-inch Storm Shadow action figure, which is a shame. Otherwise, a good-looking figure, if I do say so myself. Do I highly recommend this to any G.I. Joe fans? Yes, Sigma-6 is awesome. It was an anime-style G.I. Joe series, and I just loved it. There were some figures they didn't do. They didn't do Scarlet, which I really regretted they didn't do her. Or Jinx, which was a shame. But I love this figure line so much. I regretted not picking any of these up, and I'm just so glad to have one right now. But now that's it for the G.I. Joe. Let's look at our Ghostbusters Firehouse custom. Like the real Ghostbusters one, these doors open up, which is cool. And it does, you can see the inside of the playset. I do need to add some more furniture to this playset to actually make it pop. And this, this will be the most awesome Ghostbusters playset you've ever seen. But I will display it like this so you can see everything that's in this playset. But now I'm going to go get my comparisons out. Here is the Ecto-1. And we're going to put it through the playset, if I can get it in there without knocking anything down. And yeah, look at that. It'll look like it's actually coming out of the firehouse, the Ecto-1. Ain't that amazing, right? I will have to add some beds up here for my Ghostbusters to sleep in. And this will be where I put Janine's desk. I did have a Janine fill-in figure. I tried to add some glasses to her, painted them on, but I did more damage to it. So I just wound up getting rid of her out of this display. So I'll have to get a Ghostbusters Janine to complete this playset. But now we're going to show off the figures I have with the playset and set up everything I have. First, we got Janine's desk, which you can see will go 
right there, right there, and she'll have a chair to sit in, won't that be cool? Trick is going to be trying to get the chair to stand up, that's the trick, because it's really not a stand-up chair very well, but other than that, that'll look cool for furniture, for Janine to sit at her desk. We can, in the meantime, add this into the playset as well if we want. It's an option you can do. But what does this custom Ghostbusters playset look like with figures? We're going to show you. Here are the answer the call. Ghostbusters, one of them. Elijah Gates, and here's Eliza Gates. I can get her the stand. And Abby Gates right here. Elijah Gates just fell over on the job. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, that's some 2015 action. Here are the Ghostbusters Afterlife figures. We got Ray. I mean, Peter Bankman. Ray. And poor Peter Bankman keeps falling down on the job. <laughs> Come on, don't s fall down on the job, guy. Supposed to be busting some ghosts. And, of course, with Winston. And, of course, Egon Spangler. And, last but not least, we can throw in this Ghostbuster. This is the more posable figure line, which I do have a Ray stance. I don't have the rest of them to complete the set. And here is the real Ghostbusters race stance. I have quite a bit of Ghostbusters. And, of course, a little tiny figure of, of course, Egon. And how many ghosts do I own for this collection? Not a lot, but I own some. Here is the real Ghostbusters mummy ghost. Ain't that cool? We got the mascot of the Ghostbusters. It's Slimer. And, of course, we got some Frozen, some Ghostbusters Afterlife ghosts. We got this guy. I don't know his name, but he's very kooky looking. We got, like, the Pillsbury Doughboy of the Ghostbusters bad guys. We got the mini Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And, of course... The key, key master or gatekeeper, if you want to be Pacific. And that's all the Ghostbusters stuff I own as of 2024. And I've finally been able to cross this collection off my get list completed as of this year. I will have to look for some more furniture pieces when I go to the Goodwill outlet. But for right now, this collection is mostly complete. And I'm definitely stoked to have this collection mostly complete. I will track down the other two Answer the Call Ghostbusters I'm missing. I'll have to track down a complete set of posable Ghostbusters. The Afterlife Kids. And then the Frozen Empire figures as well. But other than that, the collection is coming along nicely. If you enjoyed this Ghostbusters custom firehouse review as much as I enjoyed making it, Please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to making my next review starting Tuesday. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.